hi guys it's fernanda and welcome back i know i haven't been posting videos in a while but i'm back and i'm gonna be talking about my life as a phd student um, this week so this week was my first uh, week as a phd student and as some of you know i just started my phd in chemical engineering at yale university so this video it's gonna be like a blog slash let's talk a little bit <laughs> it's not that easy um so yeah keep watching so to start since i'm gonna be doing everything online all of my classes are online and also my research is online because even though i'm chemical engineering most of the people think i'm gonna be in the lab but you can also do computational work and that's what i'm gonna be doing like more theoretical and computational so i'm fine working from home i don't have to go to yale although i can um they have a lot of uh things in place to be careful and like uh contact tracing and, and testing and all of that but yeah i don't have to do that so um the th the first thing that i that i did was to set up my ipad and i'll be showing you that right now so to start i use the app goodnotes 5 and i create a folder for the semester then i create notebooks per class you can choose different templates and different covers um, then you just add the name and create the notebook you can also add uh, your books if you have them in pdf form or edit, uh, any solution manual or whatever you have that's the cool thing that you can add anything there um, then to find different covers for the notebooks i go to pinterest and i search for different covers for the notebooks um, you can also look for uh, wallpapers and those work as well so here i'm showing you kind of like what i do um and like yeah because sometimes you don't find the notebooks cover like by itself so like it takes a little bit of time but yeah this is what i do and i have uh, my pinterest board with some examples right now i'm gonna choose one and i'll save it to my images now i'm saving it and then i'm gonna Go back to my notebook, go to my images, and open the image that I want. And I'm gonna make it big so it covers the whole previous cover. So here I'm showing you how I added one of the books already. And the cool thing is that you can annotate and like highlight and like do everything that you want um, while you're reading. So that's super cool. Then to create some of the titles, I use this app here. Um, you can write the title and choose uh, the font then you copy that and you bring it back to your iPod, to your notebook another thing that I like about using digital notes is that you can research images and then you just copy paste them into your digital notes if you have an image that you want to erase the background and you can use the app magic eraser you erase the background and then you just bring it back to your notebook on my ipad files i also create folder for the semester and folder per class and then i create mini folders inside with for like homeworks practice exams or whatever thing that i received from the class another cool tip that i recently found out is that there's a website called libchan you can download books for free if you follow these steps okay so classes started this week and what i do is that some of the professors they did post the syllabus before the lecture um but i did wait until i had the first lecture for them to like review part of the syllabus and um what i did to like get organized is that i write down all of the due dates for the homeworks and the exam if they give it at the moment because not all the professors give it but for me that's great because that way like i have in my calendar like when i have these things due so i don't forget because sometimes like you don't even know or like sometimes 
you don't even realize like okay in a week i have an exam and like you don't prepare yourself and like you find out until the last minute and that has happened before so that's why i use my calendar and i still use a planner but now i use my calendar on my phone uh, which i have an iphone so i i have the i calendar which is super cool because I can also see it on my laptop. I have a MacBook, but I used to have an HP and you can still look at your icon there, there in the website. Yeah, and also like I have the iPad, so like I'm connected everywhere and it's just like so easy for me to like see what I have to do in the whole day. So this is how my calendar looks like and I have different calendars on the side for like the different things that I want to plan like school and fun for to like plan whatever I'm gonna do for fun payments that I have to make um, doctor and then I have these uh, at friends Ulantai, which is my Instagram and also my Etsy store and all of my classes and research as well i have also added my calendar for my other gmails my gmail and like my school address so the way you can do it is that you go to file and then create a new calendar and then you add the name of it and you can change the color as well um they have like some colors there but you can create a custom one and that's what i've done because i have so many calendars Another cool thing is that you can create events on top of other events. So like I've separated study times, but also I have other events on top of it, which is fine. Um, so I really like that feature. To create an event, you just double click there, create the name of the event, and then you select in which calendar do you want to add it, and then you pick the times. You can also repeat it every week, every day, or do the costume one, and you can also choose when you want to stop it. And you can select a date for that, so like the end of the semester for like the things that I'm doing this semester, for example. You can add um, any website or like any other notes to remind yourself of what you have to, what you want to do. And if you make it changes, you can uh, change all of them or just one of them. So yeah, basically that's what I do. If you have any questions, let me know. Other things that I did is that, um, as I was saying, since I'm gonna be working from home, I wanted to create a space dedicated for me to study uh, on. During my undergrad, I didn't really have a space. I'll study whatever, you know, like in my bed and always my backyard <laughs> and in the dining room, in the living room, everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I set up an area. I actually bought the desk during my undergrad, but like almost at the end. Um, but now, like recently, I bought a monitor because I always like to work in a desktop but I thought that I already have a laptop a desktop is expensive so like I might as well just get an, a monitor and this is the money monitor that I got I got like a good monitor but still cheap um, my husband helped me with that so I'm gonna link it um, down below and I also wanted to keep like the same aesthetics so I love like how white looks so I got this white and like super light silver. Another thing that I did is that I got this keyboard and the mouse and they're from Logitech. Um, the only thing that I didn't realize and I didn't think about is that the keyboard in the MacBook is different than this type of keyboard, this keyboard here. Um, it, this is like more for like the other laptops and you know there's some shortcuts that you can do in the macbook that you cannot do here but i mean overall it's it's fine it was cheap <laughs> as well i will link it down below and yeah it came with this mouse and i think they're like super cute right now i don't have a mouse pad and i'm using this notebook <laughs> Um, but yeah, I already got one and I'm just waiting for that and my, my I'm so excited about my new addition, which is my chair <laughs> I used to have another chair, but I like my back always hurt and I was like no I'm so uncomfortable and Like now I'm gonna be doing so much work on my computer. So I really need 
something comfortable because I am I'm taking the classes and I'm reading a lot but also my research it's a lot of like reading papers and I mean that's in all of the research I guess yeah and like so yeah so I'm gonna be reading a lot in the computer so I really needed to be comfortable and actually I just got this chair today and I I'm gonna be showing you guys how I set it up myself and yeah this is the result it's super comfortable and i really like it i wanted a chair that it was tall from here you know so i could rest and i would i'm also like a tall person so i was looking for something like really large and i saw a friend that had this chair and he recommended it to me so um now let's talk about my classes and like how everything went this week so i started the classes and i don't know what to tell you like i the in the first lectures i understood what the professors were saying and i really liked the way they explained and how enthusiastic they were about teaching the class and i was super excited about that but then they posted like lecture notes and it was just so hard for me to follow. Uh, I spent like the whole day looking, searching for termino terminology. I think that's how you say it, like <laughs> the meaning of words. And um, I mean, I think it's fine, you know, like I, at that moment I did feel overwhelmed and it is a big change of what I was used to. And I think it was because of several reasons. Uh, first of all, like I went to a new institution and obviously like the way people teach it's different depending on like the institution's culture and I think the university that I went for my undergrad you like I don't know why like I always felt like I was um, always focused on like the solutions and how to like solve problems and do the math and all of that um, as I like I don't know if I said it before but I study chemical engineering so yeah it's a lot of like problem solving and but now the classes that I'm taking it's a lot of theory and for one of them more specifically I don't have the like the complete um, background for it so that's why like I felt lost so at the beginning I did feel bad it, you know like obviously you want to go somewhere and you don't want to feel lost and but then I like talked to like my husband and another friend and I I just remind myself that one I'm just starting and like obviously it's gonna be difficult so like if you're going through something like that you just started school like just know it's gonna get better you just have to put the effort into it and it will get better so yeah like they make me feel better and also i talked to my prof to one of my professors for this class in a specific that i was feeling like i was out of place and he was super nice he was like you're not the only one don't think you're the only one and that's a mistake that we do like we think that 
we are the dumbest person in the class but in reality like we're all learning we're learning new things and yes it's gonna be hard but like this is what separates you from other people like are you gonna succeed or not and it depends on like how much work are you willing to put into so like after the second day i started like reading and studying more and like i try not to be to not feel like demotivated like and i i study a, a lot and i'm feeling better obviously it's not perfect like if you follow me on my instagram i was talking about it and like it's not perfect yet but i am working towards it and like it's good for you like if you're going through this it's good for you to let your professor know i told him and he was super nice to me and yeah like he's willing to help me so like i am I'm gonna study, I'm gonna go to office hours and I'm just gonna do my best to move forward, to move past that. But yeah, like I did feel my imposter syndrome taking over, but yeah, this is like what worked for me and my advice is just like, take it easy and um, just try to remember that you're there for a reason they chose you for a reason uh, you don't have to be the smartest person in in the room and you don't have to know everything it's better to acknowledge that you don't know so people can help you and then just work hard and to to uh, go through that and like do better and don't lose motivation so yeah that was the end of my blog slash talk motivational talk <laughs> so if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because i'm gonna be posting more videos about my life as a phd student um and if you want follow me on instagram i always like to take cute pictures and edit them and post them with like stem content so thank you guys